Hey everyone! This is my week 30 and 31 update. So, moving along nicely. Um, sorry, I probably look like crap today because I had really crappy sleep last night. So, I think I woke up at like 5.30 and couldn't get back to sleep after that. So, yeah, I'm a bit tired but yeah apart from that I'm coping um hang on my cat wants to come in come on Smokey um, sorry um so yeah, we went to Melbourne for a holiday the other week and it was good, it was a good break. It was good to see my parents and Austin had fun seeing his grandparents, so yeah, it was a good holiday. But as soon as we got home, because um, we had some friends looking after our, our cats for us and our other pets. so. Um, they did a really good job and everything, but we got home and, like, just around where the kitty litter tray was, it was just, it was in the toilet, but the floor was just covered in wee. <laughs> and so it stunk like crazy. And, like, we got home late at night, but I just had to clean it up because, um, because it was disgusting and so I was down on the floor scrubbing the tiles yeah so I was scrubbing the tiles for ages <laughs> so yeah um like since I did that I was kind of um I guess it was the nesting instinct but um yeah I just wanted the whole house clean and spotless so yeah, that was a, I went a bit crazy then. And also because I knew that if I didn't... <sighs> stupid cat. <laughs> if I didn't do it then, then I'd kind of get over it and I wouldn't do it at all once I'd settled back in. So yeah, anyway. Um, I saw my midwife last week as well. And um, that was alright. I kind of, um, sometimes I feel like I wasn't having a midwife at all because I just feel like she, like she's not as, we don't get along as good as um, the midwife I had when I was pregnant with Austin and we just don't have that connection. Like sometimes I'll see her and I think, oh yeah, she's cool, she's nice and stuff, but then other times I'll just feel like, uh... I don't like her that much, you know, but I guess it's kind of too late now because I've already, like, locked her in and um, she'd be really pissed if I said that I didn't want her anymore, so yeah, it kind of sucks, but oh well. Um, and also she's like, she asked me if I wanted to have a student midwife come and, like, be part of my pregnancy and should be at the birth as well so but like I feel like she's putting heaps of pressure on me to have her there so I haven't um, told her yet but yeah I definitely don't want a student midwife there just cause um like when it comes to giving birth and stuff I'm quite a private person and I don't like like, I don't want heaps of people around me, you know? Like, I just want to kind of do it by myself and get on with it kind of thing, but, yeah. That's... Oh, bloody phone. Stuff it. Can wait. <laughs> um... Yeah, so... I don't think I'll have... Yeah, like, that's why I don't want the midwife there, either. Like, I'd rather it just be me and my husband, and... That's all, but... Yeah, I guess... Um, this time we'll have a midwife, but I think with our next birth, we're just going to do it unassisted, so, yeah. We'll see how it goes, though. 
Um, as far as my symptoms go this week, um, I've been having a lot of Braxton Hicks contractions, like really noticeable tightenings and it's crazy like when it gets all tight it fully sticks out like on in one side it sticks out heaps and it's like really noticeable like if I'm walking at the shops or something and my belly will be all lopsided so it's kind of funny um, I've also had um, my nausea has come back quite a lot like the last few days it's just I just get a really gross feeling and like if I eat certain foods I'll get a really bad aftertaste and that makes me feel nauseous and I just feel dodgy and stuff so that's been a bit annoying but um, yeah I guess hopefully it won't hang around um, but yeah I, apart from that I, I'm finding the bump just like really big and it's starting to get in the way of things and like it's really hard to bend down now and pick up stuff off the floor and then like or if I'm squatting down I have to like lean on something to help me get up and yeah it's very awkward but I guess it's all part of it so yeah it's all fun <laughs> but yeah um, Bubs is still breech as far as I'm concerned, but I'm not sure because last night she was moving like crazy and I was hoping she would be turning around, but I got some movement on video as well, so I'll put that video up. But, um, yeah, like the, at the last midwife appointment she felt her head up near my ribs, so, um, so yeah, she's still breech, but I'm just starting to look into ways to turn a breech baby, like if you um, lie down with pillows under your bum, under your hips and make sure your hips are higher than your shoulders then um, then sometimes they can like turn around and find that there's more, more room up the other end so I'll try doing that but yeah I'm not going to get too worried about it because I've still got heaps of time so yeah, but anyway, I better show you guys my belly before this thing runs out. I'm not sure if you can see. So, 31 weeks. And I've got a few cat scratches on my belly from my naughty, uncooperative pussycat. And I've also gained a few more kgs. I think I'm about 60 kgs now. So I guess it's all all good weight. If the baby's growing, then that's a good thing. So yeah, um, I guess I'll see you guys next week. Bye.